This is called the Portuguese fish basket. It was one of the um, Newcastle ones. Oh dear, I'm getting too many books. Um, surprised to meet an intriguing light in woven white wood, fine strapping like corded silk, half boat, half sideways egg. I bought it in an avant-garde, upfront, high tone boutique, an impulse to engage with its beauty, its total practicality. It carried fish for the family from the market, head resting against the woven wood, eyes smiling and comfortable. It held to the deep sun-splashed windowsill like a throne, like a ritual boat, straight sides, a curving base bound to a wattled rim, the whole shell woven as one to strong gunnels and with sleeved wood like bands of silk held fruit for the children, apples, bananas, and one small bowl for small unthought of things. In another hemisphere, it played a role as crib for a small saviour, tried out parts in school plays, Unsuitable for poisoned apples, the director said. It could hold a pumpkin on its side until fetched on command without capsizing. After the children left, it lived on above the sink, cradling ginger and garlic and a few strange fruit, avocado, custard apple, purple figs. In time, it collected dust. A hulk. It lost its half-shining, creamy glow, its silky touch held corks and candle ends in a small bowl, garlic and ginger, until it had to move. Still holding the air of continents and the strength of trees, it moved to a narrow room, still remembering fish and the hands that wove forest into a coracle. Dirty and dull, washed with care, scrubbed a little, Dust rinsed away, its weft and woof exchanging light, its silky woven flesh shone again, sat in. An old vessel, ready for fish, fruit and dreams, whatever you need to take to the next room. The basket dripped water propped against the re a red geranium in the return corner of a ramp linking cottages, a ramp that allowed the frail and weak to walk to ground level. Look no steps. A rail, a web of wire, a corner to hold the geranium. The potted flower, steel wire, careful rank, shrunk rooms, all intimations of time that has passed and memory. A frail evening wind blew into the basket's hull. A Portuguese fish basket fell across the boards, open, vulnerable and kicked. It would not slide below the wires, would not fly, bounced back from a kicking foot, kicked and kicked and kicked. It lay sideways, half strangled by the wire below my window above the ramp, the wire and the red geranium. I brought the basket in. My neighbour of the ramp had not seen me. She has stopped kicking, retired. We share the ramp. We need to reach the ground. Now the basket lies in the shelter of a fridge, hold knobs of ginger, garlic and tomatoes, still remembering the fish it used to hold, smiling, coming from the bustling market in the square and forests of woven light in another continent. <laughs>